Welcome to the world of Maverick, the 1957 TV series that kept viewers on the edge of their seats with a perfect blend of humor, shock, and sorrow. With an array of characters and classic Hollywood actors, one can't help but wonder which role or actor was your personal favorite. As the series unfolds, you'll be treated to a roller coaster of emotions, encountering funny, shocking, and downright sad moments. So, which character resonated with you the most? Was it the humor of one or the stoicism of another? And which classic Hollywood actor left a lasting impression on you? As we reminisce about this iconic series, we're curious. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Maverick? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Keep watching for more revelations about this timeless classic. What was your favorite role or actor? What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Maverick? Share your stories in the comments below. Keep watching for more funny, shocking, and sad facts about the series. Maverick, the 1957 TV series, left an enduring impact on popular culture during its time. Known for its wit and humor, the show captured the audience's attention with a unique blend of Western drama and comedic elements. James Garner, who portrayed the lead character, brought charm and charisma to the screen, making him a standout in the television landscape. His impact extended beyond the initial run, influencing the Western genre and television storytelling. The success of the show paved the way for a cultural shift in how Westerns were perceived, blending humor and drama in a way that resonated with a broad audience. It became a testament to the versatility of storytelling within the Western genre. The popularity of Maverick didn't stop with its original episodes. The show sparked spin-offs, including the introduction of new characters within the Maverick family. These additions continued the legacy of the series, allowing fans to delve deeper into the Maverick universe. The expansion of the brand also led to the creation of merchandise, capturing the imagination of fans who sought to connect with it beyond the screen. The impact of Maverick on popular culture is undeniable as it became more than just a television series, it became a cultural phenomenon. Its unique approach to storytelling, memorable characters, and humor left an indelible mark on the entertainment landscape. The series' influence can still be seen in modern television as creators continue to draw inspiration from its legacy. In conclusion, Maverick stands as a captivating and influential TV series that not only entertained audiences during its time, but also left a lasting legacy in the world of television and popular culture. This impact, evident in spin-offs and merchandise, solidified his place in the annals of television history. Jack Kelly was the lone constant in the five-season run of the TV series Maverick. He remained a fixture, appearing in every season. In a surprising turn, he later leveraged his Maverick persona in a political bid for mayor of Huntington Beach, California, with the campaign slogan, Let Maverick Solve Your Problems. In 1960, legal turbulence hit the Maverick narrative when James Garner took Warner Brothers to court for breach of contract. This dispute arose from his suspension during the 1960 writer's strike. The studio claimed script unavailability due to the strike, justifying his suspension without pay. However, court revelations contradicted this, exposing the studio's secret acquisition of around 100 scripts during the strike. The Los Angeles Superior Court sided with Garner, releasing him from the series contract. Sir Roger Moore departed from the series due to a perceived decline in script quality. Moore expressed that had the scripts matched the caliber of those featuring James Garner in earlier seasons, he would have gladly continued. Rod Taylor and Stuart Whitman were under consideration for the role of Bart Maverick at one point. Despite James Garner's exit, he, Jack Kelly, Sir Roger Moore, and their spouses regularly gathered for poker school at Kelly's Sunset Boulevard residence. The camaraderie endured beyond the on-screen narrative. In the early days of filming the TV series, the production faced scheduling challenges. To meet the demand for weekly episodes, a second lead, Bart Maverick, was introduced in the first season. Two units simultaneously filmed episodes featuring Brett and Bart Maverick with occasional joint appearances. This production approach persisted throughout the first four seasons, showcasing different dynamics between the siblings. During filming, James Garner proposed a cost-effective solution to a tight schedule. Faced with the imminent onset of overtime, he suggested a humorous approach to a fight scene by throwing his opponent into tall weeds. 
The resulting chaotic and comical scene set the tone for the show, leading the cast and crew to explore amusing ways to streamline production. Producer Roy Huggins outlined a distinctive philosophy for the series. In traditional westerns, situations were serious but never hopeless. However, in Maverick, they were always portrayed as hopeless, yet never taken too seriously. This unique storytelling approach became a defining feature. The camaraderie among the cast, particularly James Garner and Jack Kelly, extended beyond the screen. Despite changes in the cast lineup, they regularly gathered for poker sessions at Kelly's Sunset Boulevard residence, showcasing the enduring bond formed during the production. In summary, the early challenges in scheduling prompted the introduction of a second lead in the first season. Garner's creative approach to filming led to a semi-comedic tone, and Huggins established a distinctive storytelling principle. The legacy of the series extends beyond the screen, as evidenced by the lasting connections among the cast. During the production of the TV series, actors, including Sir Roger Moore and Jack Kelly, protested the long hours on set. In response, the studio implemented a time clock in the makeup department requiring actors to punch in each morning. Moore and Kelly resisted this measure, with Moore bringing his own makeup and never adhering to the time clock. At one point, Kelly even used the time clock as a football in defiance. In 2006, a 10-foot-tall statue of James Garner as Brett Maverick was unveiled in Garner's hometown of Norman, Oklahoma. Garner himself attended the event, marking a significant recognition of his portrayal in the series. The producers faced challenges in casting after James Garner's departure. They chose Robert Colbert for the role of Brent Maverick due to his resemblance to Garner. Colbert was instructed to wear an identical costume to Garner's, a decision that he protested humorously, stating, put me in a dress and call me Brenda, but don't do this to me. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes offer a glimpse into the dynamics and challenges faced during the production of the iconic series, shedding light on the actor's resistance to demanding working conditions and the continued recognition of the show's impact on popular culture. On the Maverick set, Sir Roger Moore's mother, a devoted Western fan, had a memorable encounter with guest star Lee Van Cleef. This delightful moment took place when Moore's parents visited, offering a personal connection to the show's guest stars. In his autobiography, Moore revealed an unexpected twist in his arrival on set. Despite assurances that he wasn't replacing James Garner, a visit to the costume department unveiled clothes with Jim Garner semi-scratched out. This incident added a layer of irony to his entrance into the Maverick world. Interestingly, Sir Sean Connery was initially considered for the role of Bo Maverick, but declined. This decision foreshadowed would a later event where Moore stepped into Connery's shoes in the James Bond franchise. The casting intricacies not only shaped the show's dynamics, but also left a mark on the future trajectories of these renowned actors. These behind-the-scenes glimpses into casting choices and on-set experiences offer a unique perspective on the production highlighting personal anecdotes that contributed to the series' overall narrative. Leo Gordon, renowned for his role as Big Mike McComb, made significant contributions to the series by not only showcasing his acting skills, but also shaping the Maverick narrative through his writing. His multifaceted talent added depth to the storyline, providing a unique perspective that resonated with the audience. In the world of Maverick, his dual role as actor and writer left an indelible mark on the series, contributing to its enduring legacy. This dual engagement reflects the collaborative and versatile nature of the show, where cast members actively participated in shaping its trajectory. The behind-the-scenes dynamic, with Gordon's involvement in both on-screen appearances and script writing, adds an intriguing layer to the Maverick narrative, making it a testament to the multifaceted talents within the realm of television production. His work, both in front of and behind the camera, truly defines Maverick's unique charm.